Hi, I'm Sean. And I'm Mike. And, and this, this is Nerd Sense. Love it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> yeah, one second in. We're back. Um, we are back. I'm completely outnumbered by Gendron's today. Oh, well, he's not a Gendron. Oh, oh, you're not? oh okay. I didn't, I didn't know that. See, no disrespect. He's right related there. on uh, Squishy's mother's <laughs> side. Oh, is that a good, good or a bad thing? <laughs> That's the bad side. <laughs> so it's, a, know, it's, it's, not, a, it's not the good side, but at least he, he had like the best sibling of that group. Uh, mother, mother. Okay. Like, oh, by far. <laughs> by the, far. The least insane one. Yeah. Okay. She's still well, insane. She's still insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah but like, yeah. She's just weird. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure she hates me. <laughs> yeah, now, she, she still came out to lunch last week or whatever. Yeah, I think that was just like, well, I'll just pity. be polite. <laughs> All right. Well, so, do you want to introduce Jonathan since he's your cousin? If you did. did it. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, uh, Squishy and I is our cousin Jonathan. A.K.A. Johnny G. Don't go pee on me. Uh Wow, that's some old school shit. I was going to say, is there a story there that I should know no. about? I'm just no. over urinating on people. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I guess. Wow, okay. And you thought, I, and, it's, it's and I thought teabagging was bad, so. Yeah. Well, it's sad that that started when we were children, like, yeah. like three years old. I'm not a monster. <laughs> like, it was just funny then. It wasn't, like, really weird. And, like, <laughs> there is one person watching. Really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, wow. if you're watching, hopefully you keep watching, because this is the first time we're doing it, and this is really weird now. All right, so let's do this. Um, we have a bunch of news. Um, first set of news is actually NerdSense news. Um, we made Telegram stickers today. Oh, wow. If anyone doesn't know what Telegram is, then you're probably not using it. It's basically a, a, a chat program we use to communicate with each other, because iOS Android communication sucks Group really chats bad. and stuff. So and you can make stickers with like penises and stuff. <laughs> yeah, really true. Every time I open my Telegram, there's a huge black dick. I'm like, whoa! You should whoa. be lucky that you're not in the chat with Jonathan. Yeah, I'm I want. I want. I, I am so upset that I actually showed him Telegram. Different Jonathan. Yeah, different. No, not not yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. Sure. Sorry, Jonathan, if you're listening to you, you send so many fucking stickers. <laughs> And they're all just horrible. <laughs> I don't even know where you get them. Because because I've searched for sexually depraved stickers before and I couldn't find them. I don't know where you guys get the ones you send. I, it's... I don't know. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah. That, so, yeah, go download the sticker pack. It's on, uh, I put it on Twitter today and Instagram and Facebook. It's on all, it's on all the social medias, all your, all your normally silly sites. Well, the, the meat of the show is going to be like uh, our discussion of the, um, the opening Se- oh, the, season the season premieres of uh, Flash and uh, Arrow, um, and we've all watched them except for Jonathan, who doesn't care. Not one bit. He's here I for the bud. He's here for the Bud Light. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just fine. A surprise edition from ten minutes. He's ago. here from the drink. He's here for the drinking. That's really why we're all here. This is just an excuse for us to drink in my basement. I don't have to be upstairs. It is the only reason <laughs> we're even here. Let's hope that 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 one viewer isn't Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> Wowzers. Awkward. All right. Um, so, Mike, what are we drinking? We're drinking uh, Bozen Chocolate Stout. We had this a few weeks ago. Yeah, so and it's uh, actually the, the, the ghost brewery is Minas or Minhas. Okay. Um, yeah, I really like this one. The, it's good. The other stuff they make isn't that good. Nope. <laughs> Not at all. Um, Tell me Josh is pouring some now. It's, but this is actually the, the, the best one that, that they've had. And, yeah. the, and there was another one that was brewed by Minhas, but it wasn't even that good. No. I think it was the one we had last week. Yeah. Where we, I think I went back and listened to it, and we were both like, this doesn't taste like anything good. Yeah. Well, it wasn't bad. It just didn't taste. Yeah. It's boring. So, what do you want to start on, Arrow or Flash? Uh, Flash debuted Since first. I aired first. Yeah. All right, so we got our first debut of the season, Flash. Um, do you want to go on the table, or do you want to just, want to just start with what we thought was cool, what we thought worked, what we thought didn't work? Um, well, yeah. Well, well, like, well, when do you start this discussion? Yeah, I, I guess the first the the opening I didn't like that it was like almost like a dream sequence or like a yeah, but I caught it right away. Yeah, I did too. It was pretty I, obvious, so I was like, oh, I don't like because yeah, I don't know. Um, but other than that, I, the, the episode as a whole, I really liked it. Um, again, it was another monster of the week. I didn't even realize it was Edge from the WWE. That was that was Edge. Yeah, that's why I sent. You noticed that? No, but once you said it out loud, right now, I, I sent that to you in a text, and you said no. The same thing. You said I know, it. but but I. I Whenever you try to tell me anything, I avoid even recognizing that you sent me it because I didn't want to be spoiled of oh, anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, Larry pointed it out, and I didn't even notice. 
I didn't even notice at all. I, I, even now, I'm thinking about it, and I don't see that that's Edge. I didn't either. I was like, that light it's doesn't weird, look like him at all. Yeah, he's, he's like his face is bigger than it used to be. Yeah, yeah, I, but but I mean, I saw him on an interview from like two weeks ago, and his head isn't that big. Really? Yeah. And CGI. It, it must have been like like some sort of a costume. Yeah. You know. Speaking of that, well, like, actually, what do you think of the CGI of him like growing to like giant man or whatever? Well, I'm not gonna lie. At first, when you saw like a ripped dude with a douchey mask on, I was like, "Is that Bane?" <laughs> I don't know. Like seriously, because I mean, if, if they, I mean, I imagine they, they they have some license to some DC characters, but I thought it was a really weird pull. I was like, "That can't be Bane." But I mean, he's a big ripped dude with a, a face covering mask, mm. and then he's fucking pumping up with his venom like or not venom at all but but i was like what the fuck yeah i actually thought it wasn't i actually thought it was cisco at first that that fucked up with his gun thing as soon as he shot him that's when yeah he, i thought it was oh, i thought it was yeah. fucked up. Yeah. that's what he's blown up from well i mean that's i mean that's a reasonable assumption because he would have got some energy i mean i guess not radiation yeah but, all right and then what's her face is now working for the um What's her name? Mercury Labs. Mercury Labs, which is run by the original, one of the original characters from the original Flash t- television series. Um, I forget her name. Yeah. I, well, well, the actors. The old broad. Yeah. The actor. Yeah. Well, she was really hot when she was on the oh, original she show. She was. She's still kind of hot for an old, old lady. My standards are low nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. no she, she's attractive. She's attractive for sure. Um, now, Josh, what did you think overall of the episode? I liked it. I, I couldn't help but think of... Um, like Arrow when uh, Stephen Amell leaves because he now he wants to do it on his own or whatever. He just he wants to be a loner, kind of. Yeah, I I feel like they reuse themes a lot. Yeah. You know, between the two shows. Actually, I didn't hate it, but it just it kept making me think of that when yep. watching it. And uh, I like how he bitched out and showed up at that fucking... Yeah, that seemed to me like... Um, like... There was no, there's no incentive for him to go. There's none, and he didn't want to go, and he showed up and. Yeah, it, it seemed to me like, um, like there was a, a missing, a missing scene. Yeah. You know, like all of a sudden he changed his mind. He's there. He's smiling. Well, well see, because when they announced it, oh, the Flash, and they expect him to show up, and all of a sudden he didn't. I was like, yeah, nice, and then he did. <laughs> and to me. It makes me think of like Batman sixty six, where like, you know, the old school Batman, where he's like, like a friend of the city, and he's walking around in daylight, and he yeah. has the key to the city. It seems very, very especially when somebody like him, when you're out there, and now every, you have like thousands of cameras and pictures. To, like, in this day and age, you, you can recognize like this facial recognition that's everywhere. It's yeah, it's very obviously <laughs> this this person that everyone knows. Yeah. Um, now, what do you think of, uh, of um, how they wrapped up last season? Because they wrapped it up in this episode. It, it was a little bit of a shock. I didn't. Did it seem? A, did it seem like a little um, quick? Like a little small. You know like, what I mean? Like it, yeah, it, there wasn't much explanation for what happened, and then it didn't really make a whole lot of sense. Well, yeah, because it's like fake science in all these shows, obviously. Yeah, but I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I was like, he's gonna spin around the opposite way, and then they're gonna make a atom particle thing explosion, and then it fixes a wormhole, I guess, right? Yeah, sure. I'm not, I'm not a physics scientist, but I guess that works for me. He's got a physicist. physicist. <laughs> <laughs> Point proof. Yes, thank you. That that's the word I was looking for too. Yeah, I I was I was not that impressed with the episode, honestly. I liked it enough, but it it didn't it didn't do that much for me, and you know what I mean. Yeah, I felt like it was sort of like a, a placeholder. It, they were trying to set up all the pieces for the upcoming season, mm-hmm. but I thought a lot of the plotting was very um, uh, a lot of it was contrived. Like they were trying to get somewhere with a lot of it. <laughs> what, what do you think about the ending though, with the dad? And stuff? Yeah, it made no sense. Yeah, it made absolutely no sense. Like he didn't even make he didn't even give it a real explanation to Barry. He's like, "Okay, I've been in prison for the last for like basically fourteen your, years. For fourteen years of your entire life, you haven't had a dad for fourteen years. But now that I'm here, I'm gonna go away because you don't need your dad right now." By the way, day number one. Now, like, hey, let's spend a week together, <laughs> grab lunch, catch up. He's like, he just gets home to his like welcome home party, and he's like, fifteen minutes in, he's like, "Oh, I gotta go." Yeah, it's. 
Like, it made no sense. I guess I can kind of see where he's like, well, you don't need me here. You need to be the Flash and maybe not be distracted. But, dude, yeah. give him a week or yeah. something. No, what, what, he, he got to hug you like twice in 14 years, and it's only because, what's his name, Joe or whatever's a cop. Yeah, exactly. Hook up. No, what, what, what actually happened is, uh, is that he leaves to go be Dawson's dad. Oh, yeah, he has another family that he didn't tell anyone about. Yeah. That's a good point. Oh, that's a good that's point. bitch. <laughs> yeah. Or what if he really is Barry Allen from another, from another universe, and that's where he has to go. He has to go back to his own universe. No. Well, he's about to have a show. <laughs> he's, about to, oh, he's about to open another wormhole, man. Can't wait. I, I, I think in one of the reviews I read, someone was like, oh, that was him, like, ceremoniously pass, passing the torch. Yeah. So, so, so just so we can explain it, um, hit, the guy that plays his dad on the show played the same character in the 90s. He played the Flash yeah. in the 90s. So well, the 1990, literally, 90 show. Yeah. Uh, One season. I liked it. You hated it. Well, I tried. Uh, dude, I, I didn't even get past the first episode. Yeah, we, we watched like 10 minutes. <laughs> it's, no, it no, is, no. it's silly, I know. Well, <laughs> let's change subjects real quick. What the hell is the point of having Iris on the show and having her written out at the end of the first episode? I don't know. I, yeah. don't, I don't really like Iris that much, really. I like that Iris. Well, I, I don't like that, that character at all, but I like that actor. Oh, yeah, of course. I yeah. like the actor, too. But As a Paula Marshall? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. She was on Spin City, and then she was on California. Was she on Spin City? Oh, yeah. Cal- Californication. Yeah, she, she's the one that, that, like, that, um... Is that the one from, like, the first episode? The one like, he's banging in the bedroom? She's, like, on oh, my husband's gay and shit. <gasps> oh! Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, we yeah. gotta really watch that now. <laughs> Yo, very nice. <laughs> yeah, and she was also on Veronica Mars. She played, like, the guidance counselor. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So she plays... She's a lot older than she... Yeah. Yeah, she must be a lot older than Yeah, huh? she's, like, probably... She's gotta be 50. That plays Iris? Who are we talking about here? Iris from it's Flash. Like the 1990s. Oh, the 1990s Flash. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. I, 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 I'm like going, I thought you were talking about the fucking Irish, Iris from... Oh, the, no, no. She's nice, too. That's what I thought you were talking about. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was like, talking about how they wrote her out of the show in the very first episode, and then I kept talking about I her. I thought you meant that they, they like she wasn't really in this episode at all, is what no. I thought you were trying to get at, because she really it, wasn't that much. In, in the pilot for the 90 Flash, okay, yeah, at yeah, the very yeah. end of the first episode, she was written out. Yeah, okay. Now I get what you're saying. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Wow, crisis averted. Yeah, we should probably weird. open up another beer. I don't think I've drank enough. <laughs> okay, Ralph, you make a drunk fuck up. Like I'm not drunk enough. I'm too sober. <laughs> um, what do you want to open up next? Actually, we should probably take that beer out of the freezer just in case it, it explodes. Yeah, I, 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 I thought the episode was good as a whole. It definitely added. I, I think my favorite part was probably the ending. What, what, what exactly? I'm Jay Garrick, and your world is in danger. Oh, the yeah. end was the best part. I like. It, the... it would have been better if he came in in his costume. And then what I like about it is, uh, I like, even though I think it's completely retarded, I like that he has the, the Mercury hat. Fuck yeah! You know, oh, me and him talked about that. The one, yeah. I said I'm done, and he said, "What'd you think of the hat?" <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so we're opening a new beer. Yeah, we have one one more viewer again. <laughs> uh, sorry if, if if you're the same viewer from earlier. We apologize. Um, there's technical difficulties. My tablet crashed or did something really stupid. Um, next time we'll probably use an Apple device. <laughs> All right. So, now, what are we drinking now? This is uh, Stone's tenth an- uh, sorry, nineteenth anniversary uh, Thunderstruck IPA. Um, we've had this on the podcast. Oh, now we actually have a video. Dun, dun, dun. He drops it, and makes another <laughs> mistake. <laughs> I hate you. I think you say that at least once every time I'm here. What I what I, what I hate you? Yeah. So Thunderstruck IPA. Mike and I have had this last time, and um, it's very good. It's uh, it's Stone. So Stone always makes. Delicious things. I have to add this to my untapped. Yeah, we've had this one before. Josh, what do you think of this here? The beer? Yeah. Oh, I'm about to taste it now. Good. I think it's very. Ooh. It yeah, it nice. smells really good. It's got a lot more different. Like, it's different than most IPAs. Well, not different from most yeah, IPAs. Yeah, it has but, a, it has a lot more of like a richer mm, body yeah. instead of. But, uh, but good. But but not super malty. Yeah. Right. Right. But yeah, but there's. There's something. There's more body to it though that you'd normally get from multi IPA. Right. There's like I think there's, there's I think a the citrus in there. I think it's the I think it's the fruit that they're using. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A little bit sweet. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's yeah it's re- it's really really good. The hop character is really nice. It's a it's a pleasant nice finish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's it's a, it's a nice bitterness. Again, that's good. But yeah, no, this is really this is really dope. that's really tasty. Yeah. And we're down to zero again. <laughs> it's like fuck you guys. All um, right. I say we just keep doing this every every week just for the hell of it. Yeah. If people watch, they watch. People don't watch, they don't watch. We become the most notoriously shitty one. People watch it just to see how <laughs> stupid we are. And burn. 
Um, Why is this the tenth time they did it and they still can't get the video right? <laughs> yeah, seriously, I'm waiting for that to crash again. Let's, how, how is the video? I say it's pretty good. Well, actually, I don't know if that's what the stream looks like. This is going to be the worst podcast ever. Yeah, because we're talking about the screen the whole time. And <laughs> yeah, well, when you watch the, if you watch the, well, you watched part of it when I was when you watched the biggest problem one. Yeah, but I, I it was hard to follow because yeah. we were talking. Yeah, um, but anyways, yeah. So, so Flash, anything else? Um, well, I'm excited to see what happens with Jay Garrick next oh, week. Oh, for sure. You know? Yeah. So, like I said, I, I don't... Like, this almost felt to me like a pilot where they just didn't know exactly what they... They were just trying to line up pieces, and I don't think they all worked. Mm. Um, I, I might get, a, like, a retroactive positive opinion or more positive opinion seeing how the season lines up yeah. after this. But so far... And this would be a common theme for today. I wasn't that... I was like, all right, well, it's okay. I got through it, and that's fine. Right, um, but we should probably talk about how, that Ronnie is gone. Yeah, he's gone. Um, probably forever. The weird thing was they kept saying like he's like I'm not gonna be in Legends of Tomorrow, but I'm being the pilot. Wait till you see the pilot. Wait till you see the pilot, and it's like you died in two seconds. Go fuck yourself. Um, yeah, he's gone, and what's her face is now just mourning. Her name Caitlin. Or Caitlin, Caitlin yeah. mourning and just being a whiny bitch. Yeah. Well, um, but her husband just died, so I guess she's not really a whiny bitch. Yeah, and Josh, you know that she's going to be a villain later, right? I think you mentioned that before. Okay. Yeah, and, the, and I think it was it was the last episode. They yeah. they showed a brief thing of her like all like frosted out her killer frost, which I thought was so stupid. I thought it was cool. And like I guess she, she argued for the, the blue lipstick. Yeah. So I'm like, oh Jesus, yeah. that, that was the worst part of it. Was the blue lipstick? <laughs> yeah, she wanted to do it. One yeah. one thing I didn't like doesn't have to do with the actual episode itself, is that while watching. The episode yep. on the CW app, they were showing me previews of like the next episode. Oh, Dude, no. I hate, they do Ruining that all the shit. time. It's so stupid. Oh, it's the worst. They showed Jay Garrick, whatever his name is, they showed him yep. in the preview. I'm like, oh, thanks. Now I see that coming. Yeah, it makes no sense. I don't know why they do that. It's retarded. They did that with the Arrow one last season yeah, where yep. Oliver Queen is dead. I'm like, oh, cool. I haven't gotten there yet. I'm but thanks. I'm glad, I'm glad but thanks, guys. While I'm yeah. trying to catch up yeah, to Yeah, I remember that. that. So. Yep. Yeah, Josh is like watching episode four, and this is the preview for episode eight. Like, <laughs> I understand maybe I should have caught up earlier or watched it as it came out, but... They, they should have an... Al- they should, there should be an algorithm that covers the fact that... No, you, you know what? That's lazy programming. <laughs> extremely exactly lazy, yeah. It's so lazy. You know what's even more lazy is that the fucking ads I'm watching are on the, the CW app are the same ones I watched in the springtime... <laughs> Same exact yeah. ones. It's like Jesus, fucking same laundry laundry shit. The same fucking. Um, what is love that Wells Fargo's bank? The Wells Fargo oh, ad. Ah, oh, this is the worst. Yeah, I know. All right, want to move on to Arrow? Yeah. Um, so I, I, I like Flash more. I think I told you this before. Like I like Flash a lot more than Arrow, but I felt the Arrow premiere was a lot stronger. I think it was a little bit stronger. I think it suffered from the same problem. Like so. I, uh, there are a lot of really good parts and a lot of parts like oh shit parts but where where Arrow is superior is in uh, having Felicity <laughs> that, that's, that's yeah that's a true story and, and, and I mean that in a lot of ways like th- that actor has just a shitload of charm and, and um, she can make the dumbest shit that she does come off really appealing you know yeah I, I also want to know I don't have a fucking clue. Um, what, 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 how they quickly got a house and um, settled down enough to wave to have the neighbors waving at them like they're friendly people. It, like it, the point where Oliver's trying to propose. Yeah, like in and, they, and, they, and they have like and they have like people like like friends that come over and like have brunch with them. It's like, w- w- how did this all happen? I mean, you, you can meet your neighbors pretty early on. That that didn't bother me that much. Yeah, I guess, but. Well, it seems like think, a really nice neighborhood where you have really annoying, nicely, uh, really annoying, nice uh, neighbors. And yeah. I think all those people neighbor. have a lot of money. And people with a lot of money they like to talk to have a people. lot in common. But you know so that, that <laughs> remember <laughs> Oliver lost his fortune? Yeah, oh, but she, she's, she's the CEO, CEO of right Palmer Industries. Yeah, you never mind. If you're right. Even though right. they said like it was like doing bad, but yeah, she's still you're the right, CEO is not broke. <laughs> Yeah, and then and then all the time that they're talking about like he's like so you were doing this while we're doing this this and this and it's like again you said four months they've been gone and they, and they traveled to how many fucking places so how how did they make friends how did they get established in this neighborhood and travel like all different countries well, in the span of four months and I think they said it was six months oh say, oh okay but it was in the time frame <laughs> so there was, there was like Huge ten different, different countries yeah, they went different. to I don't our, know about you but I don't go to four countries in six months <laughs> well well okay I have 
Well, okay. <laughs> Navy, okay. I've gone to like two or three, but that's, again, okay, because of work in, 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 in military, I guess it's an exception. To, you don't but, get to travel on your own dime. Yeah. Who, well, we don't, at least. Who vac- yeah. Okay, okay, fine. I guess you're right. In, in six months, I think I went from California to Alaska, Guam, Singapore, Japan, uh, well, a couple different parts of Japan, including Okinawa, which is an island off of the coast of Japan. I've been to and, and then back to Hawaii. All right, I've been so, to three countries in like a week, so I guess that's not really. Well, I've been to three countries in a week if you count flights and hit layovers. So technically, I've been to I, did, I did oh, in that day. Ca- oh, in that case, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> day. I did that yeah. a day. <laughs> I say the first time I went to Japan, I was in three countries that one day. Yeah, <laughs> so, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. yeah fair enough. Okay. I think when I when I flew from te- from Singapore to Hawaii. Singapore, Japan, Hawaii. That's three different countries. What if you fly over? Does that count too? Nope. You're technically there, so I was in a lot of countries. <laughs> but yeah, so what else in Arrow was really good? Um, I thought it was a little weird that they just showed up at his door. Like, like how how far away is this place? I imagine it's it's suburbs. Yeah, and then they just show up. And, and the best part is it shows them sitting down watching the news and seeing what's happening, happening in Star City. It's As like, if they have no idea. Yeah, it's like... Don't you guys watch the news? It's on the news. You have a TV. You probably watch it. You probably know what's going on. I don't. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I, well, I, I don't watch the Actually, good point. I don't watch the news I either. I just watch the news like two when days Carrie's ago. Like, did you, did you see what happened on the news? And I go, uh, I don't know. That's the same thing with me and Chan. Like, is it on? Is, is, like, is, you hear what happened? Like, nope. I'm like, is it on FARC or Reddit? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. If, if this stuff makes me want to kill myself, I don't pay attention yeah. to it. And all the news is depressing. I'm so. like, I read the news online because i read the news that i want to read i don't want to watch the news i don't want to watch. <laughs> i read about batman Duh. Yeah, exactly Duh. yeah yes yes oh carrie i did hear the news did you hear it too they're making a new batman movie it's great <laughs> it's still not coming out until next year are you kidding me oh hello be careful you be careful <laughs> oh boy have, have you tried that before mm, not that one is this not the one we're passing around? Oh, no, we had that one. Blueberry. No, that's the one Jason made. The oh, yeah. So we're pass- passing around the moonshine we had, um, was it two episodes ago? Yes. With Dan. Um, oh, actually, you're going to, everyone, you're going to get the um, aftermath of the of the moonshine from last time because we split it into two parts. And um, the second part is coming out in two weeks, and we are fucking loaded. I already needed a heartburn pill. Thanks. I took one right before we left. <laughs> I took one, day, so did I. I should have taken one, too. I'm saying I said that, and I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, when we recorded the episode with uh, McCray, by the time the episode was over, we were all fucked up. No, literally, if you listen, did you listen to the episode? Yes. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I was I was fucked up up in uh, right by Salem, and uh, I get a text from Michael. I'm so fucked up right now. I was like, Me yep. too. It was awesome. And then we both had to get home. <laughs> Fun times. Yeah, that was a good night. Um, right, so back to uh, yeah, back to Arrow. Arrow. So, Damien Dark. Mm. First time they really brought real mis- mystical stuff, it seems. Like, real, real, like, I can suck souls out of people's bodies, for Christ's sake. Yeah. I guess. Uh, like, so far, I'm not impressed with the villain. I do like the actor quite a bit. Oh, I love him. Um, John, Mc- no, something, Glenn McDonough? Uh, Neil McDonough. Neil McDonough, okay. Oh, I like him a lot. He's awesome. Yeah, yeah. he was, Um, he played, he was uh, the Holy Commandos. He was... I Dun- even, Dun- I, Dugan. I even liked him as M. Bison, believe it or not. That movie was so horrible. I haven't seen that yet. It's a bad movie, don't watch it. it. Yeah, but he know. he's this sadistic fucker in that yeah. movie. Which one is that? I've seen that. He's in the Chun Li movie. The Chun- yeah, I haven't oh, seen that, that one. That was such a shitty movie. I haven't seen Sorry, that. I just, uh, all I remember that movie is shit like in every single way except for Neil McDonough. That guy can just nice. exude venom, you know? Nice. I like him. Someone made a good point, too. Like, how how, how is What's Her Face changing so quickly? And when did she become, like, super awesome? The canary. I yeah, that, 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 that was. I've been thinking that myself. Like, this is quick. In, in, oh man, in, in, oh, in his sister Speedy is. Oh, I don't like it at all. No, she's horrible. Like her acting is terrible. Like, is like, like the like red she, arrow. Yeah, and when she set that set off the fucking um the the smoke arrow in the train station, she was like, "Everyone get out!" I was like, "That is the most rigid acting ever." Like, <laughs> I think I said something. Yeah, like it that was so episode. bad. I was like, wow, that yeah. happened. I was like, I could act better than that. Well, probably not. But well, it, it's not even. I wouldn't call that acting. I was just. I would call that. Um, well, no, I wouldn't call that bad acting. I would call that lack of real authority. Like, I would just look at it like, yeah. what the, who the fuck are you? And, and, and go and, about my business. And why was she just like pounding people's faces? She has no control. I think they're going to bring that back later. Yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, of yeah. Course. So. They're going to have her like kill someone by accident or something like that. It's going to be Again. fucking stupid. <laughs> but yeah, no, like, I, I don't know. I don't like her at all. Um... To be fair, I've not liked her since episode one. Yeah, I don't, I don't like her. Season one. <laughs> she's she's pretty dumb. Yeah, I, I didn't like she, her much. She's a whiny brat. 
Well, I, I'm I'm familiar with the comic book origin. So when I was watching that, like his mom was alive and he has a sister. What the fuck? And then he said her his name was name is Speedy or nickname. And he called he nicked, he called her Speedy. And then her name was Thea Dearden Queen. I'm like like Mia Dearden. Yeah. Speedy. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So stupid. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. But whatever. I don't know. Whatever. That, that, that's really my main my main issue with the show ever is is uh, Thea. Yeah, she's pretty retarded. Um, and, and, and obviously the show's still very CW formulatic. Yeah. The formula, blah, blah, blah. Formulaic. Yes, thank you. One thing I, I, I do think is I did not like Roy at first. I didn't either. He was annoying but, little shit as about well. About halfway through the, that last season, I really liked him. Yeah. Like, no, I don't think rocks. it was right before he left. Yeah, right before yeah. he like, like Let, let's let's kick him off the fucking show. Well, now. I sent a text about it, and then Jason's like, well, thanks for the fucking da 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 I was like, I was like oh, for the sp- spoiler... Because I said I finally like Roy, but I made some comment that he interpreted as he he just spoiled that uh, shit the other day. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Flash, that's why I told so. him you guys didn't watch it. What was that? When he spoiled the Flash. What did he spoil? Uh, what did he say? Oh, the the, the fucking uh, Mitch Leary leaves the show. Something like that. Yeah, I guess. His name. That's his name, Mitch Leary. Oh, another cool thing about Arrow was that they used the Boston skyline as Star City. The what? The Boston skyline. Remember the picture I sent? Yeah, I saw. I didn't. Oh, the Boston skyline. Yeah, it was like so, I, yeah. it was so weird. It's like that does not look like anything they've ever showed before. Like, make up your fucking mind. Like, is that Prudential Center? Yeah, there's a Sitco yeah, sign. The, the skyline for Arrow mm-hmm. is right now is the showing skyline sweep, sweeping shots of Boston. And usually they, yeah, usually they they use like sweeping like just Vancouver or like other cities. It's yeah, like usually like, Canadian cities because there's yeah. less taxes up there. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty interesting. I, I like paused and I was like, "That's the Sitco sign over there, though, and that doesn't look anything like it usually looks. That all looks familiar." I didn't notice it when I was watching it, but I I, I literally it's like saw the Sitco sign. And I was like, "Wait!" And I, I rewound it. And well, a lot of times, uh, if I'm watching it with Squishy, like when like when dialogue's happening, we pay attention during the sweeping shots of who gives a shit. We're making fun of the each show. other off and stuff. Yeah, probably. No. Talking shit. <laughs> Jesus. It's my fucking brother, you asshole. I'm not seeing a problem. I'm missing a go for this. What? He's not denying it. I know. He's not, he's not, he's not saying a word. He's really quiet now. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I think Josh is loaded and not really know. No, 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 no. Anyway. I, I thought that was just like a, he's about to jack me off statement. I was just waiting for it. It never happened. <laughs> Wowzers. Well, it didn't happen just now. Oh, not okay. that it never happened. <laughs> I've woken up to it happening. Well, maybe. Yeah, I definitely you've usually fall asleep and that's happened. Um, so. Cool picture. Diggle's new um, oh. <laughs> helmet. Like, and did anyone notice? Does this helmet, like, automatically have sunglasses at times and then doesn't have sunglasses? That's you what it that? kind of seems. Yeah, it, sometimes it's darker, other times it looks just like... Like, are they actually lenses there or are they just I like, is it going in and out? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. What do you think of the helmet at all? I think it's fucking retarded. It's absolutely stupid. Like, I'm okay with him having something to cover Yo, yeah, his, fine. But that, that's, make what, more they, a ski that's mask. what they decide. Well, no, because then he's going to get arrested immediately. It, 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 Black guy in the ski it mask, is, really? It is so obviously modeled after Magneto. Yeah, but why? I don't know. Why? It, 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 honestly, it, and the cool thing was he had the gun like shoot out of his wrist. So I was like, that's kind of cool. But that's like all they showed that has, has gear. What do you think about him like just murking people, just shooting? Just take well, them? they were they were bad guys. Yeah, I know, but I thought they got away from that after season one. <laughs> <laughs> they they trying to not kill people. He's yeah. just going around just shooting everybody. Speaking <laughs> of going back to season one, this is, this will remind me of it. How retarded? I don't know how retarded or how funny or how charming that line was when she was like, "Felicity, you have failed this omelet." <laughs> That was awesome. Uh, it was kind of funny. And then when you see your dumb egg out, it's clearly fucked up eggs. Like, yeah, and there's like 7 million omelets in there. Looked like, it looked like I cooked a pancake. Yeah. <laughs> it was like one side was like kind of yellow, the other one was brown as fuck. So, yeah, fucked I, up eggs. Uh, in, when you sent me the picture of, of Diggle uh, a few yeah, months yeah. ago when yeah, I was, yeah. first came on, I was like, it definitely looked like Magneto. You know, the, 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 the helmet. Yeah. And watching it now, it looks almost somewhere between Magneto and... It's a little more like, like Jargonautish too, like almost, almost dreadish. Dreadish is actually probably better. Yeah, but but it definitely has a, a lot of Magneto in it. Like, it just the, the shape of the the, the clearness of the yeah yeah it was like, I don't know. Who, who who was watching this and eh, 
Fuck, that, that works. That looks good. Especially when it's done, they, and they start taking the promo shots. Like, yeah, it looks fine. Let's release those. Fuck it. Yeah. How's the actor? Like, please don't take this picture of me. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it looks good at all. I don't know. It looks silly. It does. Hopefully, it doesn't stick. But it probably will. <sighs> Nibble gets shot in the fucking face. Let's just make him be John Stewart. Fuck it. That's no. All I want. That's all I want. No. No, it's fine. I'll take it. No. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> you know who John Stewart is? Yeah. In the comic book. Oh, he made. <laughs> uh, I want John Stewart. I know that. Not, n- not yeah. the Daily Show. In in, yeah. in the early seventies, they they were like, uh, maybe in the sixties, they were reinventing a lot of the characters. Mm-hmm. And, no, it was, this was in the seventies, and uh, uh, Green Lantern was normally a guy named Hal Jordan, a, a, a normally portrayed as a white, uh, like a pilot. Um, uh, Neil Adams, I think, was the one that reinvented him as uh, as a as, as a. a a man of darker complexion named John Stewart. And um, I thought it was interesting when they came up with the Green Lantern movie, they used... Um, um, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds as, as, Hal, as Hal Jordan when most people of our generation know the uh, John, Just, the John Stewart yeah. version from the Justice League TV show. That, that's what I think of. Did you ever watch the Justice League TV show as a kid? I'm sure I did. Probably. Yeah. Superman, Batman, yeah. Wonder Woman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> we watched Batman. Though. I watched Batman. I watched the fuck out of Batman, but I never watched that Superman show. And really? Yeah, all I did was the Batman. I, I mean, in in the, in the more recent years, I've seen a couple of episodes. I think I've seen maybe four. Yeah, I actually just hit an, I hit an article the other day that like that's one of the most underrated comic book shows, and I was like, I guess yeah, it was a good show. Like, well, I was talking to, to Squishy about it, sort of, because we, we were talking about like how. Um, uh, Gotham City in that in that old Batman well the Batman animated series is sort of like in a time period that can't be placed yeah that so it's like sort it's, of old it's really weird to have him in, and then all of a sudden you go to Metropolis or whatever and it's the city of the future yeah you know well, I mean, you you have all the the futuristic uh, Batman gadgets and computers and everything but then you go outside to the fifties cars and shit and the architecture and the it's... yep so overall opinion of we forgot Ad- one one. Was One that? big point about the arrow. What is it? The funeral. The six month jump. Oh, so who do you think it is? So basically, yeah, if you haven't watched it, you're gonna we're gonna be spoiled. Basically they jumped ahead six month six months and then Barry showed up super fast and was like, Sorry, I couldn't make it to the funeral and then zoomed off really quick because of Zoom. Um Jason and I talked about this and I was and I said, I hope it's Thea, but it's probably not. <laughs> no, probably not. Um do, do he you thinks think, it's Diesel. Who? Do you think it's Diggle? I said Felicity. I, see, I think they want you to think it's Felicity. That, I, I got that the whole time. So because, but, 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 then, but then I said, I was like, if, if it was Felicity, I feel like Barry would have been more, more emotional. Exactly, that's why. Yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking it's either, uh, I think it might be Lance. I was thinking Lance. You think so? I, dude, that, that character sucks. They need to write him out quick. Well, you, you know, I don't think, then you see what happened in the episode with Yeah, them, yeah what's he doing with, thing. like, Hive? Like, it's fucking retarded. Well, well he, it, they made it clear that he didn't have a choice in yeah. any of the matter. Yeah, Jason oh, said that, that he thinks he's holding the murder of he'll, he'll kill what's-her-face. His daughter? Yeah, Laurel. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's Laurel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Please. Kill that bitch I off. I don't know. No, if you had to pick Laurel or Thea. Thea. Laurel. Thea. Laurel. Thea. Laurel. Thea. Thea, I'd agree with, but it's... I, well, what if it's Roy? <laughs> what if they just totally kill him off? Uh, I don't, I don't think, think that would, so. that wouldn't really mm-hmm. do anything. I think that um, I would rather... I mean, if it, be, if it was between Thea and um, Laurel, it, it will be Thea that goes. I hope so. But yeah, I don't see either of them going. I'm just okay. yeah, you're right. No, and if it was Thea, he'd probably be a little more broken up too. Oh, he'd, oh he'd, he would. He'd be, he'd be ripping his fucking ears off. Then again, who knows? I, it's. I, it, it, it we're would, probably not going to find out to the end of the season, anyways, and it's probably going to be a giant letdown. No, it's going to be the beginning of next season of the show. <laughs> no, it's said five months from now, so it's probably going to be right Six after months. right about sweeps time. Yeah, they said. Well, well, well they said it's going to happen at some point soon. Yeah, it'd be sweeps time probably. It's October sweep times in February. Yeah, make a big change. I'm, no. I'm happy with change. So um, I think that it, it's they make you want they make you think it's going to be uh, Felicity for sure. Yeah, I don't. I, and yeah. um, I hope it isn't because Barry would be too, way too broken up. Yeah, and I, I feel so like I, dude, I might yeah, not make she's it way through. too fucking hot for the show to go on without well, her. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, she, she's certainly extremely attractive. <laughs> 
but I, but, but her, her character is boycott. It, it, her her character makes her more available to us. Very nice. Oh, I like the way you think. Yes. Okay, isn't she still getting hollowed out by Roy? He's dead. In real life. Oh, is he's she really dead? <laughs> yeah, he was throwing it in her. Wait, they're dating? Yes. Wait, Roy That's Palmer or Roy from Ray Palmer or Ray? Roy? Harper? Oh, sorry, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Oh really? Yeah, I didn't know that. Me neither. Good, huh. for, you. Good for him. So wait, Speedy's Speedy's giving it to Felicity then? Is what Arsenal. You're Arsenal. Fucking, I'm never gonna call him Arsenal. Is it, it Red I, Arrow? Speedy, whatever. whatever yeah. I'd better than Arsenal. Well, I guess Arsenal is also his name, but. By the way, when, when is she gonna get AIDS? <laughs> <laughs> well, Mia Dearden had AIDS, and it's she was a hooker. It's a legit question. It is a serious question, actually. Someone was Thea a hooker. Well, maybe she doesn't have a drug problem. I mean, she's yeah. maybe, oh, maybe Roy gave her AIDS. <laughs> Dear, you know, that'd have to be it because she's True still rich. She story. doesn't need to be a hooker. Oh, and and he's finally calling himself the Green Arrow. Which is so stupid. I think it's fine. So I the like Arrow it. is yeah. dead. I'm the Green. Yeah, that, well, that probably still, but, but he's, exactly like the Arrow did last year. But no, he has a new costume now. Yeah, it, it, it's a new costume. It looks exactly the same as the old one, except he has no sleeves. Uh, <laughs> so he's more susceptible. To like, so like, it's he's the, more it's, fucking redneck. So it's the one he wore. At, it's fucking SummerSlam. It was. I know. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, like I, know, uh, I know. I don't know. I'm just saying now he has no protection on his arms. Yeah, I know. He's, yeah. Now he's gonna get shot in the arms. I can't wait. Um, we're gonna hit some news now. Um, what do you want to hit on first? I can't see the, the list. Okay. Well, are, let's just are go you down the list. Crippled. <laughs> Sean, I know I'm being a dick. I'm being a dick. It still fucking hurts. Oh shit! I totally forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Michael, real dick. Michael took him in the ass last night. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so sorry. I'm I'm so sorry. Michael has kidney problems and it hurts. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's why we're drinking beer. Well, that's liver. He didn't say liver. He didn't say hey, liver. He said kidney. Yet. Yeah. Exactly. No. What I'm saying is. It, it's, oh, it's, it's numbing his pain. It's numbing his pain. It's numbing his pain. Yeah, give, give, let him drink a little um, more. He'll be able to twist and shout. So yeah, there's gonna be a new. Um, <laughs> they announced a new Ant Man movie. Oh, Ant Man. Yes, Ant Man and the Wasp coming out in 2019. No, is that, no, is that the title? Or is that just? Yes, they said the title is Ant Man oh, and the Wasp. 2019. Yeah. I won't even be alive for that. <laughs> I know, right? It's fucked up. So why are they like, oh, let's announce this movie seven years yeah. before it comes out? Dude, I'll be lucky to make it to Batman vs Superman. You better make it Batman. You gotta make it Batman. That, that's Batman. all. Like, me After me that's all I care about. That's a weird thing. Like, dude, I just got to see Batman next year. That's, I just got to make about. it there. <laughs> What's that? That's all I care about. Yeah. I, I, I mean, but, I want to see like Suicide Squad and everything, but I got to make it to Batman. I know how sad and pathetic I am that when um, when Dark Knight Rises came out, I was like, oh, at least Roger Ebert got to see this before he died because he reviewed the film. Because had I not been able to see it, I'd been really upset with my life as I died. I, was like, I just wanted to see that fucking <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. So pathetic. I don't know. So, um, so what else I read on top of that before you guys? I actually forgot to put it up there, but um, I read that. You know how the Shield's been doing the whole humans thing? Yes. I read that. Uh, basically, Kevin Feige said, "You guys have it. And they're going to kill it from their movie slate." No. Yeah, which I thought was fucking weird. It's like you guys are going to build up to this thing for like the next three years on a TV show and then have it come to a head on a, on a in a movie. That's like I thought that was fantastic. I that's a great idea. Yeah, it's a great idea. Yeah, I, there's I, a rumor. It's a rumor. I, I, yeah, but Inhumans is still on that slate. Yeah, but they said they they, they said since no this kidding. got this got added, that was right around the same the same time slot. I thought that was a point of adding it to the show. I did too. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It, it, again, it was just a quick, a quick, quick, quick rumor. Okay. Um, yeah. Next, uh, we're gonna get Expendables four. Yeah. The Expendables movies, they're they're so fun. They're so fun. They're, they're fun, and I even like the last one. I had fun. We went to the movies and saw it yeah. together. It was it was it was like a it was it's one of those movies you just it's action oriented. It's it's funny at times. It's just you know balls to the wall. I thought I heard like not good things about it. And four or three. It. Um, no, three. Three, yeah, yeah. And I enjoyed it more yeah. than I expected after that. And so, yeah, I mean, they're fun action movies. It's yeah, like, they're, they're cool. And you get to see all those actors you grew up with. Yeah, exactly. Saying their same lines and shit for some weird reason. <laughs> well, I think Banderas <laughs> sort of saved the film, too. That, that, he was He awesome. was hilarious. At first, I he, thought he was really annoying annoyed as me. fuck. And then as it went on and on and on, yeah. he got funnier and funnier yep, and funnier. Yep, agreed, what, agreed. What about the Wesley Snipes joke? Oh, the Wesley Snipes joke? When they, they said, so what, what, what were you in jail for? Tax evasion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I really went to jail. Yeah. Yeah. 
So did you see and, that? And I, love how the, how, and I love how they got him in that. As soon as he got out of jail, they're like, hey, do you want to go do a movie? Do you want to make fun of yourself? Yeah, let's yeah. fucking do it. He's like, yes, I need a paying job. <laughs> I still can't pay the fucking IRS. I... I I'm not gonna lie, I was a little dis- disappointed that Charisma Carpenter wasn't in it. <laughs> I know, I know, but yeah. so depressing. I'm just glad that she posted those pictures on Twitter for the world to see. Oh yes, me dose. Mm-hmm. Well, picture, whatever. Well, she had two other pictures almost right after when she was in a bikini. It's fine. I'm mm-hmm. cool with it. I'm cool with everything. Still slamming. E- even better is it, there was it was deliberately a picture of her body. Her head wasn't even in the pictures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to look into her eyes. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, next, uh, actually, yeah, we'll go to the next one. I was going to skip it, but um, they cast the Pink Ranger in the new Power Rangers movie. So who did they cast? I have no fucking clue. Dude. I probably should have wrote down who it was. Some random chick. She's uh, she's, she's she's cute, but yeah, um, give her that. does she look anything like Amy Jo Johnson? No. no, really, not at all, not remotely. Uh, I don't even know if it, I actually I, I'm still not even I'm, I'm still not even believing that they're actually going to do the movie like I don't believe that they're actually going to even film it yeah I'm not sure if it's ever I don't know I mean like it's taken so long for them to even start casting like this is the fi- yeah first no but the, 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 like I, some of the script got leaked in it they had like the like the opening scene has been re- is released well the Superman Lives script got leaked too <laughs> that's true like a bunch of scripts that's got true. leaked a that's bunch true. of scripts get leaked and then it doesn't happen like I don't know this movie just seems like it's on a it's been delayed what Two or three times already. So this is the broad here. Uh, yep. Yeah, she, I guess. Yeah, she's I, cute for a fifteen-year-old. I guess if you want to be creepy. Well, she's probably like twenty-five. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> twenty-five playing fifteen. Well, you know, it's funny as I actually we watched um, Kick-Ass Two the other day. I've seen it before. I, yeah. I, I, I think it's all right. I like the Kick-Ass I, movies. I, I, yeah, that's, that's fun. That's the first time I saw it too. But uh, like. Uh, Chan was asking like, uh, "How old is she?" Because she played a fifteen. Uh, was mm. it Chloe? She's, she's, she's young. I was, I was like, she, "She was 15. He said, "The character," and and then there was the blonde villain girl, uh, not not the, the real bitch. villain, but the, the bitch in the school. Yeah, yeah. And Josh was like, "Oh, she's older than 15. <laughs> like, the, well, she was what sixteen. I, what I said was like, well, "How old is she?" Because it looks like there's an age difference when like when yeah. they hang out between. The two and then it was like a year <laughs> yeah the, the movie's like three three years old or whatever or something and that girl's 19 now yeah. <laughs> so, yeah so what's her face chloe moritz played um she was in 30 rock as well okay. she looks a lot older than she is and i was like i think at one time i was like oh wow, she's I was, and i didn't figure out who it was and i said like oh wow, she's really hot and carrie's like same chick from kick ass she's like 14 years old and i was like oh i'm a dick <laughs> well she's 18 now but this is when we were watching 30 rock before kick ass too. A couple years ago. I was a fucking I was a fucking monster back then apparently. <laughs> well you're still a monster. <laughs> uh speaking of, I need another beer. Alright. I'm out of beer. Um we have one last thing, but uh which which I feel like the last thing is actually gonna spin us into a little bit of a I don't know, maybe not. I'm like what's in there? Uh the stone IPA. Ooh, yeah. You like yeah. One? Oh l- real quick, can we talk about the Sam Adams thing? For sure. Let's I talk about, talk about that really Let's bad. Let's talk about that, Actually, yeah. Yeah. Bring the, yeah. Well, you read it before I did, yeah, so. Yeah, so um, the thing is, so everyone knows, well, no, I don't know if everyone knows. Um, Sam Adams has a IPA line called Rebel, and they have the Rebel IPA, the Rebel Rouser, which is their um, double IPA, yeah. and they have yeah. the Rebel... What's their session? The, I don't know what it's called. They have a what session. They have a session Rebel. Do you, yeah. do you drink Sam Adams at all? Not often. Um. So they're making up another one, which is going to be in a 16-ounce can, and it's called Rebel Raw. And it's their version of um, yeah, Hedy, an East Coast good. IPA. Hey, Topper, um, <clears throat> Sam Cock said – is it Cock? Sam Cock? Cook. Cook. Cook? Sam Cook said um, they're going to do an IPA like all the other IPAs. We get to drink it fresh. And I think they said after 38 weeks they're going to pull it from the shelves. Well, no, I don't think it, it, that's when it gets pulled. It, it, that's what, if they make a batch, that's when it gets pulled. Yeah, like, right. Because you, you have to drink it fresh, and, and and it's not Sam; it's Jim. Did I say that? You said you said Sam Cook. It's Jim oh, Cook. An idiot. Um. Anyways, but yeah, this is pretty much their 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 quote unquote heady topper or plenty of the other any other East Coast IPA. Um, I'm really excited to try it. So my I 
I was actually every, every time I've gone to beer stores, I've been looking. I don't think it's out yet. I don't think they've shipped it yet. Oh, I thought you said it was, it was released in small markets. They said that, but I don't oh. think they said when though. Is that a uh, yeah untapped? Yeah. Do you do untapped? Oh, I've tried it. Just like if I'm traveling somewhere that I've never been before, looking yeah. for a bar to go to, I'll go on there and see what what's around. Yeah, yeah. Oh. it's good for that. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think I ever logged that I drink Tiger beer. The worst beer I've ever had okay, in my life. I, I think I love Tiger beer on there. Yeah, I should probably do that. Yeah. All right. I haven't smelled this yet. This, so this is their, their, their latest Enjoy Buy. It's Enjoy Buy um, October 31st. I think Halloween. So yeah, Jonathan, basically this series, they put out a beer like, I think it's like every... The last one was like September. Every September. two months, I think. Or maybe it is every month. That like it's Enjoy Buy. They, they like drink it. They basically want you to drink it super fresh because once it goes past that date, the flavor completely. Yeah, normally, once a month, I'll get an IPA or something yeah. on base because they get like random, beers. random ones. And uh, there's also a uh, Fud Ruckers right across the street from me that has nice. uh, what's it called? Uh, Blue Frog. Have you had that? No. They have a triple IPA there. Holy shit. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> triple it's IPAs. all on tap. You, just, you go over, you can get like a big grogger. Like a oh, a growler? Yeah, growler, nice. And you can get them just on tap. They got the regular IPA, double IPA. And Blue IPA. front. Wait, so where are you stationed? I'm in California near Sacramento. Oh. About 40 minutes southwest. Dude, of California has so many good I was just going to say, yeah. Now. Yeah, they, they have a lot of good uh, little microbreweries and stuff. Uh, like the wanna, Coronado wanna, and stuff. Yeah, all cool. good stuff, yeah. man. There's another one. Uh, Do you hit Russian? Uh, you ever see Russian River at all out there? Mm-hmm. Oh. R- Russian River would be plenty of the elder. Um, you said Blue Frog? Blue Frog. I want to see what who makes that. Heretics, the other one out there. Heretics, from Heretic. Re- they, it, it's like two towns over from where I live. Is oh, the uh, Heretic makes some brewery. good stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. they make really good stuff. Sean goes out to California every so often. Usually, at, like San Francisco. Yeah, right? usually I'm in the Bay well, Area. For yeah, me. I'm like an hour east. Yeah, uh, Blue Frog. So, oh, it's actually Blue Frog is the is the brewery. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, I thought that was the name of the beer. Okay. No, they got uh, the yeah, it's the actual company. Ah, no, I never heard of them. Interesting. It's good though. Shipped it's out. smooth. Yeah, you should, uh, you should ship some out to Mike next time. Yeah, then I'll grab a growl for you, yes. It's like every Tuesday, ten dollars to fill it up. That's awesome. Yeah. If if you can find anything that's like um like bottled or mm-hmm. canned, can you send it to me or Josh? Yeah, they got um, they used to have it on base, the Blue Frog, but they haven't had it lately. But uh, especially stuff like that that we can't get out here, it'd be cool actually, to try. Yeah, it's. I, I if you guys put it on the podcast, go and on, try it or something. Go on to Bevmo, B E V M O. Yep. That's like a. There's one literally a half mile. From oh, the you house. can buy. Yeah, yeah. I, I've, I've done it before. It's a warehouse. Oh, yeah. Just, it's got your normal beers, but it's got all different imports and different like IPAs and stuff. It's literally a warehouse. Yeah. You walk in. It's got hundreds and hundreds of beers. It's a, yeah. Isn't there a weird law that you can't ship mass beer? Mass is weird. So you can't I don't ship think, beer I don't think Bevmo will shit. That doesn't your day live in New Hampshire? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but... Uh, yeah. If, if we get you can ship of... wine now, which is weird. And then and, uh, remember, Carrie also got me the beer of the month stuff. So I think the, I think the laws are very like dependent. Yeah. Like, so and then was, Mike and I were also at a, area. Mike and I were also at a beer fest recently um, a couple months ago. And there's a brewery that makes a new beer every month based on like what fans tell them to mm-hmm. to make. Oh yeah. And, and, the, and they're like, yeah, we, yeah, we can ship to Mass. We just got certification, so I think it's per. By company. I don't. Yeah. Think, I, I don't think. I, I don't so, think like, it's, a license that they need. Yeah. To do. I or think, they're I just think, not. No, they're just being illegal, shipping illegally. Yeah, <laughs> just shipping. I think they meant that they were distributing the mass. No, no. He said it will ship to your door. Oh no, kidding! He said it will ship to your door. No kidding. But like, I'm not supposed to. Sh- but like, me shipping, like Larry and I are trading beers. Yeah, no. I'm not supposed to ship to North Carolina. I'm not supposed. He's not supposed to ship to Mass, and it works. You ever do yeah. like those uh, like the beer of the month clubs or anything? Yeah, yeah. But uh, well, no, I I couldn't do it because I tried signing up in Hawaii and they won't ship to Hawaii either. Mm-hmm. Which makes sense because it's a long fucking trip. Yeah. <laughs> I did it, yeah, because Carrie got it for me once, and um, it was like I think it was six months worth. Of it. it was really good. It was really. I, I was like, it, both, it was interesting. I, I had some of those yeah, with There you. were um, six different beers. They gave yeah, me two six, bottles each. Yeah, it's a yeah, six pack or twelve pack. It, yeah, it, it was a twelve pack, but 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 two two of the two same. Of each, yeah, yeah. So six beers, two yeah, each. Yeah, it was. I, I liked it a lot. Yeah. It was. Yeah, I tried some with you. It was really yeah. fun. Yeah. So this is actually pretty good. This actually comes in six packs now. Good. Um, so what was the, the news item you wanted to talk about? No, you want to talk about it. Was it the Puffy thing? Yes. Oh, so, nice. All right, yeah, so, um, uh, if anyone doesn't know us at all, uh, 
we are all big. Uh, well, not Jonathan probably, but uh, we're 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 Buffy fans, Buffy and Angel fans. I haven't been that much up into the comics. I think I read most of uh, Buffy season eight, and I think I read Angel season five. But there's been like the Angel and Faith series. There's yeah, been Buffy I've season been nine, a whole bunch of stuff. Five? Yeah, I have, I have it at home. If you want to read it, I, I watched it. Oh no, season six. Yeah, yeah, season yeah. six. No, Sorry. I, yeah, I've tried it and like I like comics, but like I don't know. I, I never read any of the comics. It's hard. I just get my. I think I read the first season of Buffy, and, and they actually made an image comic of the first season. So oh, like the, voiceovers the and like it's like animated, but it's the comic pages and they animate it. And it's, mm-hmm. it's still it's still very hard to watch. I think you gave me part of it. I watched a little bit of it. Yeah, I don't know. I still can't do it. It's tough. I, but I remember before Watchmen came out, I tried watching the the uh, Watchmen vi- video comic, whatever. Digital, whatever that was. That was actually, I thought that wasn't that. That was pretty well done. But it, it, it's tough. Like it is. Like the, well, I'm not a prolific comic reader. In the times I do read, I, I read them really quickly. Yeah. Same and way. like you know, I I read all of Watchmen like in yeah you know a couple. I think the one comic that I actually read that was a TV show continuation that I actually enjoyed, and I I've stopped reading it, but I followed it for a while was was the Firefly comics. Hmm. I don't. I don't know. Th- was that official though? Yeah, it was. Josh was involved. Yeah. Uh, Tim and Tim Minear was like the head writer. Hmm. I really liked it. Um, either way, um, uh, at, at uh, New York Comic Con, Dark Horse announced uh, Buffy: The High School Years, which is um, it's uh, a novel written by uh, a graphic novel written by Faith Erin Hicks, and drawn by uh, Yishan Lee. Uh, uh, Joss is going to be involved in an executive producer type role. So he's going to ap- approve the stories, right. pretty much, and, uh, and it, just like as he does with the other. Yeah, and um, I mean, uh, she, she met with Whedon about the comic back in 2013, and the the story is going to be set during Buffy's high school years. And fans should think of it as quote a lost episode. From season I don't one. think that's a good. Not that it's. I don't think. Okay, it's probably a fine idea, but I don't. I, that doesn't interest me whatsoever. Um, a lost episode. Like I don't want that. I want to see what's happening now. I which, agree. which obviously we can see, but in the comics, but I don't know. I agree, but there was a certain charm about those early episodes that the, that the show lost later. Yeah, I know. Like early Willow, early Xander, yeah, um, I guess. bitchy Cordy. If if they're written well enough, I guess. If the comics are written right. well enough. But the thing is, like, there's nothing that, that can happen that's going to be significant because it's not going to. Yeah. But it makes me wonder, like, because if Joss is involved, it can't be that shitty, right? I get, well, he's still involved in this, like, large, like, okay. Honestly, if there's a if there's a continuation somehow, like a Buffy or Angel TV series, do you think they're going to... Um, like say the comics didn't exist. Or you think they're going to say they exist? Joss specifically said, "I have no problem scrapping those and taking that out of canon." Oh, really? Yeah. Which is which is bullshit. Then that that's why I don't want to read it. That's why I think it's a waste of time. Well, there's not going to be a continuation. With you the don't fuck you, you don't know that. The with shit, all these fucking, fucking web with all these web TV shows and shit nowadays, like. The, for, for all we know we could wake up tomorrow morning and they're like hey it's on Netflix yeah, there's all 13 episodes we've been secretly filming it <laughs> yeah a web TV show with with, with uh, Sarah Michelle Geller, um Nick the fucking drunk a, Brendan a, a really red nosed Nicholas Brendan yeah the, what the, the fuck is up with that yeah, guy yeah that oh, motherfucker he, is, the, the, he has to be out of jail in order to film it is he in jail right now he, probably I thought he already got released he prob- oh, but he probably got arrested he probably got arrested again, again. Yeah, you're probably right you're probably right right and then they're gonna have um Alston Hannigan, who's still pretty fucking, you know, she's still a working actor. She's had more success post Buffy than she did oh, for during sure. Buffy. Oh, for sure, for sure. You know, the chance they're, they're none. The, the only person that probably wants to do it is fucking Anthony Stewart Head. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I, by the way, I want to see that. I want to see them make that Ripper show. Oh, Fuck, I man. Know. I've been dying for that. So That'd stupid. Speaking of going back to really quickly to like um, revivals like that, I just want to say Con Man is really great. Mm. With Alan Tudyk, um, apparently, and Nathan Fillion, yeah, it's really great. There's there's four episodes. Well, four episodes I got so far, and they actually I just saw that they released four more episodes. I haven't watched it yet, but um, it's 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 hilarious. Like as funny as you think, like it would probably be. Like I I don't know how they do that. Like in real life, I'd probably just kill myself. Oh, I mean, like the way he was talking about like some of the scenes in that in that yeah, was, century, like, bugging him at the urinal and shit. But yeah, he was literally t- like in the in the show, like it was him taking a shit. Yeah, yeah, I saw a little yeah. bit of clip. It was, yeah, it was, it was, really it funny. was ridiculous. That's kind of funny. 
yeah, it, it's 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 it, it, it's actually really funny, and I'm I'm, I'm glad they that they did it. Um, is there anything other news that we missed? Um, That's the broad strokes. You guys, you guys have anything you want to bring up, Josh? No, I wouldn't marry Nathan Fillion right now. Um, I don't. I, I, I would too. That's, okay, that's that. That's not a drunk decision by Josh. No, that's no. a normal decision by Josh. That's a normal er day decision. Yeah, er day. Er day. day. Er day every day. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really have anything else other than. Oh, sounds good. Yeah, we can wrap this up because so so basically so you're gonna get this episode on this Tuesday and then next Tuesday is gonna be a pre-recorded episode of obviously they're always pre-recorded, but you're gonna get part two of episode forty one something. Basically, the episode with Dan, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna get the, the the really really shit faced half. Um, you might want to avoid it unless you like people screaming. And uh, slurry. Actually, no. The streaming was in the the first half. Um, oh yeah, I, we just scream after that. No, but my I sound like I'm shit face. Like I'm, no, no, I'm just like and the, no, it, I was shit faced. Is it worse than the podcast with Chan and Kerry? Oh, it's close. We were it's fucking close. wrecked. It's close. It's close. So um, yeah, if you guys don't really care for us being drunk on the podcast, then um, you probably shouldn't listen to it. Um, All right. But it's really funny. Good. And then it's a lot of nonsense and swearing and stuff. It was really fun reconnecting with McRae because I haven't had a real conversation with it him was. in a long time. So yeah, so you guys should listen to it. It's, it's, it's a bunch of old old friends basically shooting the shit as the last half is what we do. It's good. We we get drunk and go off track. So hard. Yeah, so hard. Crash I, I, and burn. I, I couldn't even tell you r- right now what the second half is about. I have zero clue. No when, idea. When I got home, I was like, "Hey, Chan." <laughs> And yep, I don't really remember. I woke up the next morning and I was like, I have a headache for the first time. And like, I don't know how long. I don't get headaches when I when I drink. I I, I texted you guys the next day. I'm like, what the fuck? And as I said, McCray, how did you drive home? I was I was fine. I'm yeah, like, I was like, bullshit, bullshit. <laughs> He's he, like, I don't drink as much as you as you guys. I'm like, you drink almost as much. And I was wrecked. I was completely fucked up. Yeah, but um, yeah. So so hopefully you guys enjoy this episode and. Uh, Enjoy the episode after that, and then um, we're going to be back with more live episodes after that. And uh, hopefully, we're going to keep trying to do Periscope. We have no viewers right now. Zero. Zero. As usual. <laughs> but we had two for a period of time, and I wonder who the fuck they are. By the way, it's been working really well since there's been no viewers. Yeah, I know. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. All right, well. Uh, I'm Sean. And I'm Mike. And, and this, this is Nerd, Nerd Sense. Sense. Love it. All together. Oh, <laughs> you just grab your shit and hope it doesn't go. So you just please touch the. It was it was gay as fuck. I have nothing against gay people, but I just that was that was one of my experiences that I liked about boot camp.